Hey viewers, got something new. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a bent axle. I was working on this bike and the bike, the wheel, rear wheel wobbled. And I thought it was just out of true. And so I pulled it off and put it back on, make sure it was straight. And it still wobbled, but it wobbled differently. And there was also a small catch in the hub. So I took it off and took a closer look and I'll show you what I found. First of all, when I went to remove the skewer, uh, let me go ahead and remove the little uh, part off the back here. I noticed that the, the skewer was actually a little bit difficult to remove. And I thought at first maybe the skewer is bent, but I looked at it and no, the skewer is straight. So then I started thinking, well, maybe the axle's bent. So I sighted down, I held the wheel up to a light and sighted down through the axle and I could see that it curved. And if you look here, you can see this part is off center. That's because the axle is bent. So I'm going to show you how to replace that bent axle. Now before we take this whole uh, thing apart, we want to see how much of the axle extends out past the uh, lock nuts here and you can either measure with a ruler or count like the number of threads there's one two three four so there's like four threads on here that extend past this lock nut here and it's probably about the same on the other side so I get over the non-drive side here just a little easier to uh, remove here and I got like a 15 millimeter cone wrench here, hold the cone, got my adjustable wrench here, and remove this lock nut here. Like that. And then you're going to want to remember the order that all the, these parts went on. So you got the lock nut, you got a spacer, sometimes you might have multiple spacers. Then I have a cone here. And go ahead and hold this and pull this off on the other side here. There's the cone. Pull all these bearings out. Now I need to remove this freewheel here. I should probably remove this first, but oh well. So I got a freewheel remover tool here. Slide that in there. It's for Shimano freewheel. And got my adjustable wrench here and we'll go ahead and get that and remove this there's that and so now I go ahead and remove there's the axle get all these bearings out of there Put those aside. Okay, now I need to disassemble this uh, side here. So I'll get my cone wrench here and get my adjustable wrench here and loosen this. And that's loosen that there. So then there's two lock nuts here. Get that broken loose. And again, you want to remember the order that these parts go in, and these parts are a little bit different than, uh, like this lock nut is thinner than the lock nut that was on the other side. So you want to keep track of the order that these parts all went on. A spacer, another lock nut, and if you notice this lock nut here, is smaller than the uh, inside lock nut or, so, or this so that's the outside lock nut has all those little uh, parts there which will be going out towards the uh, the frame there 
and then this this one here is smaller and doesn't have those and then we got the cone here there and then here's the axle so it's definitely bent right in there so I'll take this to the bike shop and hopefully I can get a replacement there. Either that or I can maybe cannibalize another wheel and see if I can find an, an axle that's the same length and has the same threading. Okay, I'm ready to start putting this thing back together. I went to the my local bike shop and got a replacement axle. Um, it was about $10 plus tax. And so you can kind of see them side by side there that uh, the one is... Uh, bent there so anyway I'm gonna start putting this thing together um, and what I'm gonna do is start putting the uh, drive side on first and see so these were the parts from the drive side so first thing I'm gonna do is screw the cone on then screw the uh, inside lock nut on Now I'll put the outside lock nut on and what I want to do is put that on so that there's about four threads exposed there like what it was when I pulled it off. So there's about four threads there. Then I'm going to take the inside lock nut, screw this back out like this. and then tighten these together like that. Now I can take the cone and screw this back out into here and then hold the cone and hold the lock nut there and tighten the cone out to the lock nut like that. Now that's all tightened up ready to go. Here's the bearings that I pulled out of the hub and so I've got my uh, spoke bearing gauge from Park Tool and so they're not 7 seconds inch bearings and they're quarter inch bearings and uh, I have a, a bag of the quarter inch bearings and there's 18 bearings uh, nine per side okay I've checked the cups out for any obvious damage uh, from having the axle bent and everything like that but I don't see anything everything looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and use my grease gun a little mini grease gun here to put some grease into the cup and then I've got bearings here, brand new bearings. So I'm going to go ahead and insert these into the cup. There's nine bearings. Let's go ahead and do the other side now. There, nine bearings on that side. Okay, and I got the uh, the new axle here. I'm just going to go ahead and just take a little bit of uh, grease and just run it down here. Just kind of help it keep it from, give it a little light coating of it so that it doesn't rust inside there like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and insert this through. And this is the drive side, so I'm going to go ahead and insert it through like that. And then flip the wheel over. Like that. Now go ahead and install the uh, the cone on this side. Slide the spacer on, slide and screw the lock nut on there.
Okay. Now this part's always the trickiest part because you want to tighten the cone down enough so that uh, there's no play, but that it's not binding on the bearings either. So right now it's tightened into the bearings a little bit and then tighten the lock nut down. And the problem is that a lot of times when you're doing this, it's either the lock, the uh, cone is loosening as opposed to the lock nut tightening. Okay, and so it turns smoothly, but there's a little bit of play. So what I want to do is loosen this, tighten this down a little bit, tighten that, and then try to hold the bottom part a little bit so I can tighten the lock nut down a little bit more and then tighten it and then feel how it and turns smoothly and not really feeling any play so there you go and then also double check here make sure that looks okay and it looks like it's a hair farther out than the other side but I think it'll be okay Okay, now I'm ready to reinstall the freewheel here. And I'm just going to hit, and you can just spin this on. And then when it's tight, go ahead and take the freewheel tool and my adjustable wrench here and tighten it on. And I don't need to really super torque it on because as you ride the bike, it will uh, tighten the freewheel on tighter and tighter and tighter. Well, I've reinstalled the skewer and I'm all done. Now the uh, axle turns in there nice and straight, doesn't wobble around like it did. Uh, anyway, that's how you uh, replace a bent uh, axle on a bike wheel. I hope that helped. If you found this useful or interesting, please click the like button. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. There's a big subscribe button down here. Just go ahead and click that. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching.